Um, yeah, in South Africa, on the coast in Devon, leading one of the most cultural teams in the country. How has it been so far, especially after winning the preseason cup, the Premier Cup, uh, this weekend? Hmm. So far, so good. Improving a lot, working too much. There's also a long way to go. We are far from the level I want the team to reach, but the improvement is there on and off the field and this is the most important thing, the adaptation is good, I think players are understanding our philosophy and especially they are understanding that uh, we also need to change uh, mentally uh, because we cannot afford to fight again for relegation, the decision must be totally different and we are getting there and I hope we keep improving. Speaking of uh, fighting for relegation, avoiding fighting for relegation, how is the response been from the players considering that um, the CV mentions club like Real Madrid, Simba FC, have the players give you that they want to play for you since you arrive at the team? I think you can see that in the friendly games or you could see that in Premier Cup when players are playing three games in within 27 hours, when players have to repeat in the final and they play the day before and they are giving it all. Uh, you can see that they are believing in the message, they are seeing that we are here to help them and that we can improve them uh, as a team and, and as a individual players, also for their careers, for their future. Uh, and from there, I'm, I'm really happy with uh, what they are delivering, you know. Uh, as I told you, they still can improve and must improve uh, a lot. We have a huge margin. Uh, this is part of this project uh, or our vision that there's potential and we don't want to stop growing up. And this is what we are going to keep doing. And then with the research you've done so far about South African football and the friendly you play in the preseason, um, how would you describe um, our football in South Africa and how would you describe your, your announcement and how the fans welcomed you when you arrived in South Africa? You know, uh, it's not only about precision because I'm watching this league for a long time. Uh, since I had the opportunity to play Pirates with Simba in CAF one year and a half ago, and I also received some proposals from some teams uh, before I started watching many games, and I realized the kind of league you have, you know, uh, it's different, definitely from some other leagues I've been, but my experience is huge in terms of adaptation. Uh, I came here with an idea, when I'm realizing that after the first week of training, probably with that idea we were going to suffer, I'm changing, now we are trying to make the team solid and from there to try to grow up and to play better and better and to reach the playing style I would like to play from day one but now it's not possible but we will get there. Uh, coach, uh, you want to when, when you start the club, did you also speak to the Orlando Paris uh, coach about also South African football before you join us? No, uh, today is the first day I'm talking to him. Uh, I was following him because uh, Orlando Pirates also contacted me one year and a half ago and from there I'm following them and then when I saw a Spanish coach coming I, I tried to watch the games. He did an amazing job, an amazing job. Uh, it speaks very well about the quality of uh, Spanish coaches. But I also think that uh, Pirates did an amazing job because sometimes you need that patience to reach what you really want to reach. And as, uh, if you remember, or as you can know, last season they didn't start it very well and from there they achieved two championships, they reached the second position in the league, they are qualified now to play Champions League, which is amazing. So the club had that patience, the club realized that the quality of the job um, was top. And they believe in the process and the project, and this is something that you don't see uh, often in football all around the world, not only here in South Africa, all around the world. So congratulations for both of them. And I hope to meet him more and more and to get some information from him, but also I'm getting this information from my side, I'm getting this information from the coaching staff. And from day one, they are helping me 
Uh, and they are giving me a lot of information about everything related to this football. I'm also seeing and I'm realizing what's going on here. So I'm quite happy with the, the, the situation I have now in terms of knowledge and understanding of this football and competition. Uh, and coach, uh, when, when you arrive, so also you welcome very well at Amazon. Did, did the management give like a, a mandate where you want the club to be at the end of the season? Uh, we are always talking about the same thing. It's a vision, a vision that we share, and its vision is to represent uh, South Africa in the um, whole continent. You know, uh, so that means that we need to reach the top four. But you know, right now, to be honest, we are not ready for that. I think there are teams better than us in terms of quality. If we can get the players we want and we are trying to talk to and negotiate with, uh, we will probably will be capable of fighting for that achievement from the first season. Otherwise, it's going to be difficult. What I can tell you is that uh, if I have a team to reach this level, I will put it in the next level. That's uh, for sure. And I know that we are going to make that difference with the job we are doing. From there, the game in the end belongs to the players. And the players are going to be the ones who are winning games. And maybe we can play a good football. We can dominate the game for 85 minutes, like the last final in the Premier Cup. I think we were much better than the opponent. But in the end, you are not scoring a goal, even if you are creating the chances. And you are going home with a draw. So this is making you far from the objective. Um, in the end, when you are lacking of quality, when you are not clinical, when finishing, even if you are creating many goals and scoring chances, it's difficult to, to convert and you are going to miss points. Um, coach, um, Amazon haven't had really a great season last season, so have you been re-watching their last matches to show which areas you need to improve and maybe uh, make sure that you reinforce the team as a whole? I did before signing. Uh, I did when signing and I'm doing right now because I'm realizing daily which are our weaknesses and that's why we are adjusting things and that's why from day one we are telling the club uh, what positions we need to reinforce, they are working on that, happy with the arrival of, of a human, um, happy with the arrival of, of uh, weight as well. I think they are going to, to create competition in the squad, this is important, uh, because this is also um, one, one of the uh, easiest ways to improve. When a player is not relaxed and he's seeing that his position is threatened, he needs to push, you know, and, and happy with those signings, but uh, we still need some more quality in some other positions. Thank you,